Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to Game Theory Cheat the Water Bottle Flip Challenge with Science by The Game Theory. So I'm pretty sure I haven't reacted to this. If I have, then leave it down in the comments below because I, I'm i pretty sure I haven't reacted to this. I I don't know. I'm pretty sure I haven't, but I feel like I ha I've had. I, I didn't see the video where I did it, but I did up react to this, so... Yeah. What you also find down below is the link of my Twitch. I've been live streaming there quite frequently, and also the link down below, uh, my second channel because you know I haven't uploaded there in one month. So yeah, I'm planning to upload there, but I'm not. I don't know how. I don't know what to upload. Uh, Minecraft instead. Uh, GeoGuessr. I'm not good and it's pretty boring and other stuff so I don't really know what to upload there leave it down in the comments below if you're watching this and also you know why am I live streaming on Twitch not on YouTube my main channel is not available for live streaming and my second channel is not available for live streaming so Twitch is the next platform to be so yeah guys in 3, 2, 1 let's react I watched five seconds of it, all right? I, I didn't watch the whole thing. I mean, at this time, the water bottle flip challenge was at its peak, at its prime. So now it's not really that, that big, but it's still, people still know what the water bottle flip challenge is. But they just forget about it. Like, oh, it's not. No one's doing it anymore. It was like, dude, perfect. Just up to the war bottle flip challenge video. All of a sudden, it just goes to its peak and slowly falls down. I don't know if what will happen if dude, perfect actually up to the uploads a war bottle flip challenge video. Will it? S will it not be? as successful as the other videos or will it be su successful as the other videos um, you know i'm just throwing it out there <laughs> Why this game theory war ball flip challenge cheating the war ball flip challenge is game theory all right <laughs> Internet. Welcome to Game Theory, where, shout out to the true first comment on the We Broke YouTube Game Theory, the Nyan Robot. Thanks, Nyan Robot, for ringing that subscription bell and being a part of the notification squad. That's something I'm looking to do more regularly on the channel, by the way. Make those first comments count, and shout out you guys who are the first comers every week to the show. Because you know what? That did not last quite well. You but know. you guys rock. Thank you so much for supporting the channel over all these years. Anyway, onward to today's episode. Which is gonna make you flip or at the very least give you the secret hacks that you need to become the mic dropping finale at your school's talent show <laughs> But in all seriousness of all the trends to hit big Seriously. in 2016, bottle flipping was perhaps the most surprising. Sure, we expect right. the collective mind of the internet to dredge up long forgotten childhood shows, ironically appreciate terrible movies. Re uh, yeah, the B movie was awesome, you know? I don't know why, but the B movie was just like the b greatest movie of all time in 2017. I didn't. It started actually in 2016. I never knew that. I thought it was 2017 and 2018 died off, like, immediately. Recreate popular dance moves or latch on to trending news stories, dance but flipping Harambe. bottles of water so that All they right. can land correctly? Oh. That was the big thing of 2016? I mean, yeah. I act like it's surprising, but when you really stop to think about it, its massive popularity makes a lot of sense. It's something literally anyone can do, watch, yeah. and appreciate. You see it happen and you understand it regardless of how old you are or what language you speak. It's a game that anyone can play for free, and when you get really good in practice, a lot or just have the magic of editing and cut to your best of a hundred takes you can do some really impressive stuff now for those of you who aren't familiar here's the skinny bottle flipping entails taking a bottle and tossing it so that it twirls right. through the Everybody air like a gymnast and it, sticks a 10 out of 10 landing ign would 
Everybody know what ball flipping is, all right? You don't have to explain it, Matt Pat. Flip Everybody again. knows what and it is. That's it. Triple A game companies, take note. This is the type of game that people want to play these days. Now, despite what Know Your Meme might say, the origins go back as far as 2007 to a video released by a. 2007? Oh, it's. Uh, wild bottle flipping is there for a long time. Skateboarder named Ben Daleman. But it was this video I alluded to earlier, Michael Senator's epic flip during his school talent show last year that really caused people to flip out over the flip. From there, it was a short trip off to the land of the YouTubers, with everyone from Ryan Higa, Dude Perfect, and Fern and Flew giving this trend the viral fire that it needed. But then, why am I talking about this on Game Theory? Well, because yeah. it is a game. It's the ultimate mobile game. Okay. And also, honestly, it's because a lot of you have been eagerly asking for a more science heavy episode and let me tell you for as elegantly simple science. as bottle flipping might be scientifically it's a completely different story involving everything from elasticity of collisions to fluid dynamics to momentum to laws of gravity and if you understand that science you'll actually have an unfair advantage in your next bottle flipping tournament or at your next school talent show or your next visit to grandma's house or whenever you want to flip a bottle to impress people might i recommend your first date and sure, I get it. Yeah, you probably don't want to do it anymore. My chair is not really that com uh, comfortable because it does this and uh, it just, it's not really that comfortable. You know, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it's not the worst. It's definitely something's worse out there. I'm just gonna, um, all right. More anyway, since you've moved on to the next viral bottle-based trend, like pulling dollar bills out from under bottles. Whatever, okay, I know right. this episode is an old trend, but damn it, these things take time to research. So here it is, the scientific cheat code that'll get you the upper hand in the world of bottle ballistics. So before you start pitching your old plastic around, your flip can either be made or lost by the very first choice that you make, the bottle. Think about it, there are the hundreds, bottle. if not thousands of different yeah. brands of bottled water on the market and almost all of them Definitely. have different bottle shapes heights even thicknesses of plastic and yeah. picking the right one can make the difference between becoming a flipping champ or a flipping chump so if you think of bottle flipping as a video game then think of your choice of bottle as the difficulty slider the typical bottle most people are using rounded bottle thin plastic like Poland springs those are effectively the normal setting not too hard not too easy just a good sweet spot to judge other bottles but right. what in particular makes this one the ideal middle of the road candidate? Well, let's take two other bottles and it'll all become clear. A water cooler jug and a bottle of Diet Coke, because, let's be honest, I have a problem. Now, the Diet Coke bottle is the bottle flipping equivalent of hard mode, and the reason for that is surface area. Notice that the bottom isn't round like the other two, but rather has multiple yeah. prongs. Yeah. Now, under normal usage, that's a great shape. It gives the bottle added stability. In fact, as someone who has an unhealthy addiction to soda, and by proxy a lot of useless knowledge about the history of soda, I can tell you, I'm in the so early days of You're two liter bottles, they needed an extra black cap at the base of the bottle to maintain the bottle's ability to stand up. That system existed until it became difficult to recycle the two separate plastic pieces, and a new process had to be designed, these pronged bottles. Man, Diet Coke, you truly are a work of art. Yeah, yeah, all you other sodas who have the exact same bottle, you're fine too, but Diet Coke, beautiful both inside and out. For normal use anyway, when flipping bottles, it is a completely different story. You see, in physics, the energy of being in motion is called kinetic energy, and the word elasticity is a measure of how much kinetic energy remains as kinetic energy after two objects combine. To give you an example, let's look at anime. In a scene that, now that I watch it over again, I should really be covering over on film theory. I mean, look at his face collapsing. There is so much science that I could cover oh, in that God. thing. Anyway, Goku punches Krillin in the face. Goku's fist has a bunch of kinetic or movement energy that then gets transferred into Krillin's face and body, launching him off for miles. So one would say that the elasticity of that collision of fist to face is really high. The kinetic energy of Goku's fist stays as movement energy as Krillin flies through the air. Seriously though, the more times I watch this scene over and over, the more I realize I need to cover that over on film theory, making a note right now. So that's right. an elastic collision. The more classic and boring example that you've probably heard in school are 
are two pool balls hitting each other. Alternatively, there are inelastic collisions, where the kinetic energy is transformed into deforming the material, or where energy is lost in other ways, like heat and sound. The Goku Punch example isn't perfectly elastic, because some of his punch energy is lost, deforming Krillin's face. <laughs> Look at that, that has gotta hurt. If Krillin has one superpower, outside of Destructo Discs, which are really cool, it's the fact that he is like a human punching bag. He takes punishment for days. A good example of an inelastic collision is two balls of clay thrown together. They stick. There is no bounce. All the kinetic energy of the two balls moving is lost as they deform into one larger ball. Now, knowing all that, look at our bottle flip. It's plastic hitting a table, so the collision will be mostly elastic, like the pool balls, where the kinetic energy of the bottle falling is preserved. In fact, we measured, and it's a force of about 50 newtons. That in and of itself isn't too much, but the table isn't gonna move, right? So that movement energy right. has to go somewhere, and that's back into the bottle, which is causing it to bounce. The plastic of the bottle compresses ever so slightly and then springs back into position, just like an actual spring, causing it to rebound from the table and potentially costing you your glorious moment at the talent show and the subsequent tour around the talk show circuit. And I was so close to you, Jimmy Fallon. One day one day. Now, 50 newtons isn't going to cause a whole lot of bounce when it's spread out over a wide surface, like say the rounded bottom of your average water bottle, but the prongs? That force gets moved to the very small area that's actually hitting the table, causing the bottle to rebound higher and thus making it harder to get that perfect landing. On the other end of the spectrum are the large jugs of water. While YouTube channels might try to make this seem like it's super impressive that they're just landing these flips, that these are the most extreme flips out there. They're just wrong or lying to you more clickbait yeah. these things it is pretty easy if you have a strong hand and you can lift it up it's pretty easy you know just all right are flipping easy mode. Part of it is the huge surface area of the base, but to see why these are the clear choice for any flipping noobs, we need to talk about the other elephant in the room, finding the perfect water level. Empty water bottles weigh practically nothing. My pro level flip bottle weighs in at a mere 17 grams. And if you have an empty water bottle just sitting on the table, its center of mass, which is basically the point on the bottle where all the mass averages out, is right around the middle. But water is a lot heavier than plastic, and when you put something that's significantly more massive, like water into a bottle, the center of mass is gonna move. In this case, it moves downward. There's more mass on the bottom of the bottle than on the top, and thus the place where the mass averages out is gonna end up a lot lower. Now, why is that important? Because the center of mass sometimes goes by another name, the center of gravity. And gravity, as the biggest thing standing between you and that perfect bottle flip, pulls from the center of gravity. So the lower the center of gravity is, the less likely that bottle is gonna tip over when you flip it. Think about it this way. And Edward, huge clap and a half to you to be demonstrating visually how this all works, because this is the sort of thing that, sure, I can explain it the best I can, but it really helps to see it. So A plus on the visuals, even though I'm recording this before the visuals are done, so don't screw it up, Edward. Don't do it. Don't you screw it up, Edward. If you do, no one will understand this concept and the entire episode is ruined. The pressure's on. about it this way. When the center of mass is lowered and you, say, tip the bottle to the left, the center of gravity of the bottle is hovering over the right side. This means that the Earth is pulling on the right side of the bottle, which makes it want to stand back up instead of falling over, thus allowing you to walk off the high school stage head held high. But if you overfill the bottle with water, now the center of gravity is much higher, the point at which all the mass has averaged out has crept back upwards. When that happens and it's tipped to the left, the center of mass is now to the left of the tipping point, and gravity Gravity will pull the bottle down, causing it to fall and causing you to take the walk of shame for the rest of 10th grade, or move to another school district. This is why getting just the right amount of water is tricky and essential. You need to put in enough water. Yeah, because of the guy that did the water bottle flip in his high school thing. If he did not make that, he would get booed all over. Just, well, I didn't make it, you know, second chance. No, still not. Third chance? No, no. Yeah, if he did make that first one, he, he, he would not be deserving of going on Jimmy Fallon. But now, he is on Jimmy Fallon because he made that. That was, that was, you know, describing his life right there. If he did not make that, he would go to Jimmy Fallon. And not just as the audience, as the person 
standing beside Jimmy Fallon. So, yeah, that was life changing. Life changing bottle, bo water bottle slip. Can't speak. Water in the bottle so that the center of mass goes about as far down as it can get without inadvertently allowing that center of gravity to creep back upwards by overfilling. And yeah, yeah, I know that the comments are already rolling in from you general relativity fanboys. Just chill out. Everything is coming up Isaac Newton today. You'll have. Where's. Where's the. Love for relativity, Tam. Wait, fam, fam. There we go. Where's the love for relativity, fam? There we go. Have your relativity episodes, I promise. What Jer say? No, that's just gibberish. All right, can't believe that. In fact, if I remember right, I think that the first ever. What was his name? I need to read all of this. MC underscores what the everything is coming up MC underscores the school school warab squared squared MC underscore squared that's a clap that's a clap right there MC squared right Isaac Newton today. You'll have your relativity episodes, I promise. In fact, if I remember right, I think that the first ever episode of Game Theory touched on relativity topics, so there you go. Hashtag an apple right. a day gives Newton the respect that he deserves. Newton the respect that he deserves. So mathematically, wow. the ideal sweet spot is going to be filling up that bottle to the one-third mark. It's one there third. that the center of mass is going to be about as low as it can go. Now, all right. obviously, all bottles are different, but for a surefire yeah. technique, eyeball the one-third location and try to tip your bottle over at a 45-degree angle and then let it go. If it falls back upright, congratulations, you did it. If it falls over, that you means your center of mass is too high, so start chugging some water. Those wide, short, squat water cooler bottles are the easiest ones to Flip because they're the ones where keeping the center of gravity low is a cinch. Just look at the jugs in this video. Oh no. That's the cold. water jugs in this dude perfect video. Oh, I mean, jeez. No. Oh. up, this is a family oh. show. Anyway, those All jugs right. are barely filled. And that's because it doesn't take a lot of water to weigh these puppies down, getting their center of mass low. And it's gonna be really hard to fill it so high that your center of gravity is gonna result in you tipping it over. These jugs are just super stable. Now, obviously, you're not gonna shove a water cooler jug in your backpack to pull out during lunch hour bottle flipping tournaments with a cheesy dipper from Steve, right? So what bottle do you choose? Well, in between these jugs and our standard round-bottomed ones is everything from smart water to Fiji water, each with its own various pros and cons. Smart water's tall, narrow shape is gonna make it really hard to find that sweet spot in water line. Fiji water, being made from a firmer plastic and with a wider base, is definitely gonna be easier than a typical bottle. Just be careful of finding the water level since it's so short. The fact that it's short is gonna mean that you're gonna have to be a lot more precise in your water level measurements. And lastly, the throw. Now before we talk about bottles, let's talk hammers. Grab a hammer and toss it in the air. Actually, no. If you are on your way to the no. garage right now, stop. C come on back. Come back, please. No. No. If I throw a hammer there, it would break some Legos, some picture frames, and some speakers. Back, please. Hopefully, hopefully you're still listening to me. It's dangerous right. and you'll put a hole in the floor. Instead, let's visit history's most famous hammer tossers, the Hammer Bros. Notice how the hammer twirls all lopsided before finally landing? Well, it's because of our old friend, Center of Mass. Objects in free fall that have any rotation will always Wearing rotate customers. around their center of mass. Hammers, which traditionally have wooden handles and steel heads, have a hugely lopsided center of mass and rotate around that. But the cool part is, for as chaotic as that movement looks, if you trace the trajectory of the center of mass, it will always always follow a perfect arc i mean look at any mario right. game even though the handle's moving everywhere the hammer head is consistently falling in an arc well done nintendo way to pay attention to the laws of physics except i guess for an italian plumber being able to launch himself hundreds of feet into the air yeah, so really well done picking and choosing your physics battles
I guess. Anyway, trust me, I'm not All just right. saying this based on a video game. In real life, tossing hammers acts the same way. Toss a hammer safely and outside, please, and you'll see the exact same thing happen. Or better yet, watch a video on YouTube. I'm sure one exists. Here, here's one right here. Literally anything you want is on YouTube. But here's the thing, for as complicated as throwing a hammer may look, a water bottle is even more complicated because fluid dynamics are involved. Which, let's be honest right. here, is a sentence I included to make you sound smart when you mention it. Fluid being a water bottle is even more complicated because fuel, fluid dynamics are involved. ...to your friends. Because fluid dynamics, for as impressive and complicated as it sounds, is really just another word for the movement of liquid. Fluid being dynamic. Makes sense, right? Anyway, when you flip the bottle into the air, the center of mass is shifting as the mass of the water moves around in the bottle. As it does this, the water robs the bottle of angular momentum, or spin. This becomes most dramatic just after the bottle flips, when the water sloshes around and goes from being in the bottom of the bottle to the top. It adjusts to gravity, which simultaneously helps push the bottle down, allowing for that signature straight-up landing. How this knowledge helps you is that most newbie bottle flippers include too much horizontal velocity. You're throwing the bottle too far forward. Notice Michael's toss, both at the talent show and on Stephen Colbert. It barely moves forward. You see, if the bottle is moving forward too fast, when it lands, the bottle's movement is suddenly stopped, but the water inside the bottle still wants to move forward. Forward, and it does, which takes all the mass with it. So instead of acting like a stabilizing force inside the bottle, the water actually helps knock the bottle over. The key here is to try to- Oh, so it's not like... I should throw it up there, not like... Horizontally. Not like diagonally, I should throw it up like... Right. Use as much force upward while also putting that spin on the bottle. The best way to do this is to make sure that the bottle is parallel with the ground when you release it. This sends the center of mass straight upward, and since you're holding on to the other end, the bottle will naturally rotate as you let go. So, there you have it. The steps to a perfect flip. Choose a perfect bottle with flip. firmer plastic and a wide base like a Fiji bottle. Fill that bottle to about a third full, double checking the exact level by doing that 45 degree fall test to measure where the center of gravity is at. And then Practice your toss so that you release it in parallel with the ground and try to minimize its forward momentum. But if you want even more of an edge, consider swapping out the water in the bottle for mercury. As the heaviest liquid at room temperature, that should lower the center of mass to a- Mercury? And now those are pro water bottle flippers. The mercury bottle flippers. Any mercury bottle flippers down below in the comments, please. Please comment because mercury bottle flippers are, you know, they're savage. I don't know what to say. Amazing depths while still maintaining all the benefits of fluid dynamics. Just, uh, you know, fair warning, don't, don't drink it. Or touch it for that matter. Or do anything with it really because it's toxic. Like deadly levels of toxic. Huh, between mercury and hammer tossing, today has been filled with bad ideas. Who would have suspected that bottle flipping is the deadliest game? But hey, that's just a theory. Empty bottles in your house? Do you flip alone? Do you lie about how much you flip? Maybe it's time to get help. A game theory. Thanks for watching. But before. See ya, guys. Thanks for watching. Of course, peace on the black. Peace. Peace.